Hey guys, it's Jeremy with That MMA Show and Full Contact Fighter TV. And I am here today to talk about one of the coolest charity events that's going to be coming to the St. Louis area, and it involves MMA, guys. Now, Dave Mirakitani, tell me a little bit about this event coming up. Well, we are working on the biggest MMA event ever in the history of St. Louis for charity. It's at the Chaffetz Arena, October 26th. The doors open at 6 o'clock. Um, national Anthem's at 6.30. First fights will probably start a little bit before 7 o'clock. That sounds awesome. Now, so what is the charity event here and what are we going to do? The name of the event is Warriors for Heroes MMA versus PTSD. PTSD stands for Post Traumatic Stress Disorder and there are our warriors, the fighters, coming back to support our heroes, our military guys. So then, now let's talk a little bit about this event as far as the MMA end of it goes. I hear that you have some really big endorsers coming in for this and a lot of people who have helped you out with it. Yeah, and, and I know you're gonna talk to Linda about this, but the catalyst for this event happened relatively recently. And when I found out about this event via mutual friend, I called a family friend of ours, Randy Couture, told him about it. He runs his own Extreme Couture GI Foundation, which is an amazing organization. Yes, and, that is a great organization. And they are they run that that organization super lean, you know, as many dollars as possible pass through the organization to the people that need it. And when I told him about ours, he said, we'd love to be a part of it. We'd love to parent your organization this year. And for the people that know MMA, that's awesome. You know, for the people that don't, once they, you know, talk to Randy, talk to his staff, the family, which Linda's representing, was, were just like, wow, what a, you know. And Randy really is one of those guys that's as nice as he seems. So now let's talk a little bit about how much of the, how, how many fights are we talking for this event so far? At 14 fights. 14 fights. Mm -hmm. That's great for charity. Now, I need to ask, though, what does AMO stand for and how did this all come about? Well, AMO stands for the Adam Muffler Memorial Organization. It's a brand new, newly founded organization just in this year. And like David indicated, the catalyst was my nephew, Adam Muffler. He came back from two combat tours and a 24-year-old Marine and took his own life when um, life was just getting too hectic. And it, he's just one of 22 a day. Right now, that's the national statistic of the guys that are struggling with post-traumatic stress disorder and committing suicide. Now, and I understand that Adam was an MMA fighter and was actually preparing for a fight before this happened? That's right. So he was. He was a new fighter, and the family absolutely was supporting that. So we're new to the fight world. But he won his first fight. He trained down at Burger MMA, won his first fight, and lost his second, was training for the third, for which he never made. I see. So now, talk a little bit about then how this whole event came about and how was AMO started? It's a great question. Adam was attending St. Louis University. Okay. As they all do, they'll come back through the GI Bill. They'll go through some form of education, you know, uh, through, through sponsored by the v Veterans Administration. And he was attending there, and when he took his own life, the school there, um, the veterans group, contacted the family and they knew of Adam fighting they suggested what can we do uh, Chaffetz Arena was a large uh, part of the project but getting that contracted was through the help of St. Louis University and Father Biondi's acceptance and support of us forming an organization and um, helping the other guys with post-traumatic stress disorder so then let's talk a little bit about that now how would you find that this organization is working to help the soldiers who are coming back with us. I personally have a friend who has this problem and it is an incredible struggle that they do go through. So talk a little bit about what AMO will do to help them out. This is the only reason we're doing this. I'm glad you asked. There's two missions that we're um, dedicated to providing through this organization. One is just an awareness of what post-traumatic stress disorder is uh, it's definitely a mind-altering disorder that they come back with while they are learning to uh, surviving over there in horrible conditions and when they come back it kind of starts to bubble to the surface uh, issues that the rest of us don't understand so we're talking about post-traumatic stress disorder in a way 
that um, takes the stigma off of these guys for being weak or needing help or coming back less than what they left at because that's a big part of the problem is they don't want to admit that they have it. And number two is that uh, an event like this, a high profile event like this, um, not only allows us to talk about post-traumatic stress disorder, but allows us to raise a lot of money. And the money is funding existing rehabilitative programs for guys like this. So then, now on the money, I hear that you have a lot of corporate sponsors for this. Is this something that has, has helped out in this? And is there a way for other organizations to help out? Without a doubt. Corporate St. Louis has been amazing. Um, what we believe is that government may or may not be able to help these guys when they come back. Um, they're fully extended, as we all know. Yes. And private sector should probably step up and help these guys. They've all served us well. Yes. So now, all right, let's talk a little bit more about the MMA action. So Dave, talk us through just a few of the fights that we have this night. We've got fighters coming in from all over the country. Um, we just signed a guy today coming in from Ohio. We have two guys coming in from Las Vegas. Um, a bunch of guys in from the St. Louis, Illinois area. So some of the fighters you might, the, maybe the, the local people heard about, uh, Chris Stump Heatherly is going to be on the card. Oh, yeah. Ashley Cummins is going to be on the card. And all of my Invicta fans, if you want to see Smashley Ashley, come on down because she's going to be there. She's a 115-pound dynamo, that's for sure. Oh, that is no kidding. No we were kidding. talking about that earlier that, you know, she trains so hard and doesn't want any quarter and just, just goes at it. So uh, Mark Digman is one of the guys coming in from Las Vegas. Okay. He's combined 19-1 and one amateur and pro, was a four-time All-American in college and a, a national champion. Probably one, maybe two fights away from getting the big call up. Um, just so many guys to talk about, guys from pretty much every gym in St. Louis is being represented. And there's uh, you know, one, man, one young man in particular named Jonathan Baker, who may not be very well known, but he was going to be Adam's next opponent. Ah. And we were actually at a fundraiser when uh, – he went on the website, found Linda's number, and called and said, I will do anything to be on this card. And it was pretty emotional. Well, yeah. that, that is a great show, but the MMA community really is like that. You know, A lot of people see us and they think that, oh, well, we just beat the heck out of each other. It's not true. We are a big community. We all know each other, and we all really do look to protect each other. Well, MMA stands for mixed martial arts, obviously, and martial arts are about respect. Exactly. It's about dignity. It's about self-defense. And even though in MMA it's not self-defense, it is trying to win by, you know, attacking in various ways, at the end of it, 99% of the guys don't want to hurt their opponent any more than they have to to win the fight. That's exactly right. So, guys, tell us how we can get tickets and how they can find you on the web. www.ammo-usa.org. Um, and then you can go there and make donations. You can buy tickets. Um, we're going to also have tickets available on CageTix, C-A-G-E-T-I-X.com. Um, you can also go to the Shape It's Arena website, but really just going straight to our website, ammo-usa.org. You can see the fighter profiles. A lot of them will be up there this week. We're just getting all the pictures and everything in. Um, and there's also the phone number on there for the corporations that you said that still want to sponsor or donate. They can also, can we talk a little bit about our tables and suites? Of Maybe course. One more minute? So Linda's done a great job um, getting a lot of the best restaurants in St. Louis behind us. We have Joe Bacardi's. Oh, yeah. Which is right up the hill here for me. Very nice. Um, and they are doing all the food for the tables. We have cage side tables. And that's also where Randy Couture is going to be sitting. And uh, some of the other guys were hoping to get Mike Chandler, Ben Askren, those kind of guys. Oh, very in, cool. Because you know those guys from Mizzou and that sure. sort of stuff. Um, but it's a three-course dinner. We have Mastermind Vodka, so they're providing moonshine and vodka. And then Anheuser-Busch and Noggin. And so all that stuff's going to be provided at the tables. And then the suites, it's all the same thing. And Brio Restaurant is doing the food up there. So Very nice. We're trying to figure out where we can eat a little. Of I, I agree. I think that uh, <laughs> we all need to get in on that action. So, uh, all right, guys. Also, then Facebook, Twitter? Um, it's Facebook is just uh, ammo dash at a muffler memorial organization. Okay. And the Facebook link is on our website as well. Perfect. So you can follow all of the action and everything to come on social media. All right, guys. Thank you so much for talking with us about this charity. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. It was great stuff. Hey, this is Randy Couture. Please help support our cause. Warriors for Heroes, MMA versus PTSD. The event is October 26th at 6 p.m. It's at Shea Fett's Arena on the campus of St. Louis University. Your tickets will go to the Extreme Couture GI Foundation, who is a proud sponsor of this event. Thank you and look forward to seeing you at the fights. Thanks for your patriotism.